glad you decided to join us. We're probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan, well, welcome to the fire. Fighting the authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my arc emerged. I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. When General Cross changed the time in only a few arcs. Arcs filled with his people. That changed the course of humankind. Now, it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. All right, come this way. Our base is just through that door. Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough. Gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. You see that ARC all in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now the Sark uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing, but I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again. And still in one piece. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence. And she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the authorities' work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Boardman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the authority bastards. And lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town, and he's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. Subway town above us, and this is Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the authority in a heartbeat unless you're used to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. Remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. Elizabeth is our resident expert on mutants. It would be wise for you to see her and learn as much about them as you can. Remember, to be of use to us, you must be able to move around freely. And the only way to do that is to gain Redstone's trust. Remember, to be of use to us, you must be Blowing able to move around Blowing stuff up and hitting the authority where it hurts. The only way to do that is to gain Redstone's trust. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. 
You gotta make good with Redstone before we can start going after the Authority. some authority technology we found, and let me tell you, I think I've come up with something truly impressive. I've found a way to engineer separate authority components together to create an object that, when you activate it, inflicts extra damage, though only for as long as the power supply lasts. The parts are hard to find, but it sure is effective. Here are the plans. I know you'll have fun with it. Decrypting this ID drive is serious business. I need to focus. Decrypting this ID drive. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but, uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start snooping around. But first, um, a couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs, the bar's on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. Hey, stranger. You looking to earn a little on the side? Rick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar, he's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. If you're looking for supplies, see Janie upstairs. Looking for a race? If so, go talk to Mel downstairs. She'll be able to set you up. Redstone may run this town, but he can't stop the street gambling. Keep your eyes open for pickup games. Good if you need a little extra cash. Look around. All of this is Redstone's town. It's the meanest damn mayor in the wasteland. Watch yourself, or you won't last long here. If you haven't seen Redstone yet, go there now. Don't waste any more time. Redstone doesn't like strangers walking around his town without permission. See him in his office upstairs.
pal. Don't waste the boss's time. Go see him. Hold it right there. You Marshal's new guy. Okay. You're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place, my town, and every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the Blue Line Tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Good. Just prove yourself useful to me. And then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. And get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Get your butt down to see Jones. He's waiting for you, damn it. And come back when you've taken care of his problems. What are you doing? Get your butt down to see Jones. He's waiting for you, damn it. And come back when you've taken care of his problems. Hello there, cutie. Please tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so what you looking for? Pleasure doing business with you. You new here? Janny's got decent supplies, but if you're looking for a real good deal, see Stu. He's always got something special for sale. And remember, if you're low on cash, you can always challenge Teague to a game of cards. You can find her in the bar. Yeah, we've got our own vibe here. Being so close to Capital Prime keeps everyone on edge, but we try to relax when we can. <laughs> <laughs> 